Hi guys, welcome to another. I don't know. Can you do the intro? Okay. I'll just chill. No. I'll just chill off camera. Hi guys, welcome to another Feedback Friday. Today we're going to be unboxing and simply another snack crate. I wonder what country you're going to get this time. Hmm. No one knows. Perfect. Before we open this and we start sampling, I just want to say Snack Create is a snack subscription box. It ships to select countries. I'll leave all the information down below, but the one thing that it's um, worth mentioning, every month is different and you get to sample the world. So what better way to travel? And the one thing that I love about Snack Create is their flexibility, which uh, they have three sizes, the mini, the regular, and the family, and you can flip flop. This month, you might feel like you want um, the regular or you want just for one month to just you feel like in a treat mood and you can splurge and go for the family and then go back to the mini and even things out if you not feeling snacks at all you can pause your subscription at any time one month at a time so it is very easy and their customer service mwah, amazing but you know what else is amazing snacks so are you excited to find out what country you're visiting today no because some because some of them might be bad also you don't want to try this you can just go then i'll eat it all by myself no thank you because there might be gummy bears that's true there might be gummy bears let's find out so i'll open it I'm yeah a pro at opening he's it. he's a pro at opening it I don't know how you stroke. Oh, we got Brazil. Oh, I can't. Sorry. I can judge this one. Oh god. Let's see oh, if they are good or not. Oh, oh yeah, I love stuff from Brazil. I didn't even know they had Fanta there. So let's see. Oh nice. Uh, fun facts. Let's see if they Pause. are saying the true or not. Pause for a second. Like, what I love the most about it is, I know if you guys know, but I am Brazilian, so as long as we get treats from Brazil or Canada, I can judge to see how good the boxes are. Let's judge the fun facts. Let's judge the fun facts. Choose a random fun fact and tell okay. us, Jess, and I'll say if it's true or not. Okay. Brazil has been the largest producer of coffee in the world for the past 50 years. It's probably true. I like coffee. Except... I like how much energy it gives me, cause like I go insane, but it tastes so bad. He he never really. I tried to give him coffee, but he never tried that. Oh. Squirrels must drink a lot of coffee. Okay. Oh, and this one is true too. I figure I should share this because people don't believe me. But Brazil has the largest Japanese community outside of Japan, with about 1.5 million Brazilian Japanese citizens living there today. And I can't wait at the end. There's seven billion people on Earth, so that's not really a lot. I'm starting to get hungry, so let's start with the next, with the first snack. Okay, and um, it's always the extra things, right? So I love that with every box, I don't know if you guys can see this, it shows you how to check for expired snacks. It shows you exactly how the country they're sending snacks from um, format their expiration dates or best before dates. So I think that's like a little extra touch. I wish I had gotten the big box for this one. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the first snack. He loves reading. So, the first one I found is a torta guida. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But okay, can you tell us what it is? It basically... Ooh. There you go. Um. Tortuguita. So they're more of like a sweet chocolate snack. I think they're like basically Portuguese turtles. Um, it's not really like turtle. It is just. It looks more like a turtle. It's like a chocolate shell filled with something. That one is filled with what? Um, this this is the red one, and I think it's caramel. Can I see? 
Oh, brigadeiro! It's like a fudge. Mm. That is delicious. Can I try that? When it gets to the middle. Mm. I've never had this one before, but I've seen tortuguitas so, so far. It, oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. That's bomb. That's like 10 out of 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. So between the two of us, that's an 8 out of 10. Because hmm? oh. 10 plus 6 divided by 2. Hmm. Massive. Okay. Next, we have. I don't know. Oh. Clube Social. Like in Brazil, this is accurate. We do have a lot of these. Um, crackers are popular in our snack, and we have crackers that sometimes taste like something like ham or cheese, or sometimes it's like a sandwich with some sort of cream inside. This one is queijo, tomate, e manjericão, which is basically. It's a bit suspicious that it tastes like ham or cheese. Um, but this one is cheese, tomato, and basil. <clears throat> oh, were you trying that one? Yeah, I'm an expert opener. There's like three, so how about... No, there's six. Oh, wait. No, it's a sandwich. Mm -hmm. So one for you, one for me, and one for us to share? Yeah. Can I have the bag? All right. Oh, it's like rich. Can I try? It's like. No, and then you have one more in later. No, you have that one. Mm. It's like Ritz almost. It's like a bigger version of Ritz and with white cheese. Mm -hmm. hmm. I like it, but I don't like that. Don't ask me how I, I like it, but I prefer real cheese to fill my crackers. So, mm -hmm. on three, how much? Okay, I'd, one, two, I'd give it three stars. Oh, I was gonna give it five, so it's a four out of ten. But it's not bad, it's just okay. Nora Beach. Oh, oh, this is the bomb. We got Biss Oreos, and I love these things. So, Biz is like really popular in Brazil, that is a fact. And it's basically a thin wafer. Here, can I open one? Yeah, go ahead. So they all come individually wrapped. And it's and typically so the normal flavor is uh, just chocolate. This is Oreo, so it's a thin, oh, there you go. That's the inside. Is very thin wafers layered with some sort of things and like a s mm. it's um, thin wafers glued together with chocolate and dipped in chocolate at the end. And this one is the opposite, is like a play on Oreo, so cookies and cream. Enough, Jesse. Yeah, like, and the one thing if you are in Brazil is they say biz is it's called biz. Because that's the same as encore, because it's impossible to eat just one. I know. And it is true. They're going to have to eat time. Jack! Sorry. You're going to have to eat. Like, I would break a house to get this. Mmm. Mmm. This gets like a... This gets a 15 out of 10. You better take those away from me. I will. I'm getting one more. I feel good, dude. Mm, mm, mm. Can you get the box so I can put the other things in? As no, the other box. Oh, box. Mm. Add break. Mm. Oh, I know which one we should do next. Okay. Next one we have is these little oh. pat 
Pasoquita. I don't know how to say that, but they're basically little peanut butter. It's it's like I started to explain. I'll explain it. So basically, we don't really do peanut butter in Brazil, but um, we do have these treats. Pasoca is basically ground. Do you want to show them? It's basically like. It's ground peanuts. It's a chocolate bar, but made with only peanuts. And it's a little dry and sandy because it's just ground peanuts pressed together, but not quite in the butter stage. <clears throat> Got a bit of water. Okay, so what snack should we do next? This snack, I don't know how to say it. Okay, so in Brazil, I don't know how to explain this, but we have this kind of popped corn. They do, you can either buy them savory or sweet. This is the sweet version, and sometimes you can even um, buy it. People make it fresh when you go to like circus and things like that. So it, it is an experience. I've never seen this brand, but I know the snack and I can, and my mom loves it. It's like her treat. Every time she goes to shop, she buys a, savory bag and that's what all she eats for dinner at least once a week. I remember these from this from the last time I visited Brazil. These are great. Especially the sweet ones which is not the one I like but I'll take it. Yeah I like the other one better mm. but um I'll, I'll I'll take it. What do you rate it? I'd give it an 8 out of 10 only because it's not the savory version. I was gonna give a seven out of 10, so we get like a seven and a half. It's not bad, yeah. right? Okay, um, let's see. Ooh, this one looks good. Um, I think this says Blamel. Pe de Moça. Can you read the description? Because I've never heard about it. Sure. Um, no, in the... All right. I'll just show them. Padimosa. Okay. Similar to a peanut brittle, this candy features crunchy peanuts covered in sweet toffee. Hmm. Do you want to try this now or later? Oh, uh, let's do it now. Take a bite, we can split the rest later. Mm. You like it? Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. It's weird. Can I have the bag back to put this in? I can barely taste the peanuts. It tastes like crunchy caramel. Yeah, it's um, instead of being like a brittle, it's like really soft, chewy caramel, almost like a fudge with whole pieces of peanuts in it. Mm. Okay, I'll count to three. Let me think. Do you know where you're rating it? One, two, three, four. Three. So we get a three and a half. It's my least favorite no, one I said so far. Three, which has four letters, so I write it four. So it's a four out of ten. It has been my least favorite so far. What about you? Um, just trying to think back. Yeah. But it's too good. Yeah. Ooh, ruffles. Now those are some good chips. I just have to say, when he's done that. Obdo obnoxious noise. <laughs> I would say that if there's two countries in the world that do chips right, if I may say so, it's Brazil, second, England, first. But, um, uh, I love, love, love Brazilian ruffles. They are not very oily. They are like just perfect. And the flavor is not just on the coating outside. I don't know how they do it, but the flavor 
is in the potato and this is my favorite one is churrasco which is barbecue but our churrasco is like um it is not sweet it's not come from like barbecue sauce or anything it's like proper barbecued meat by itself like the smokiness that's what this one tastes like so it's gonna be a fight to see who finishes this because mm. mm, mm, mm. 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 I wish I had this whole bag. Now it's. Mm. I know what I rate this. Okay. Uh, I will rate it. Twenty. Fine. Well, ten out of ten. What about you? I rate like a nine. Hmm. So you get nine and a half out of ten for that one. Yep. The best thing, though. Better than that is our Cheetos. Mm. No, eight and a half. Hmm. Yeah. I gave ten, you gave nine. Oh, yeah. What's next, Captain? Um, let's see. Ooh. This one is Trento Allegro. I've never seen this one. And I'm saying this in a normal accent, in a me accent. Yeah, and I would call it Trento, which is a brand I don't know, and Allegro. Hmm. Allegro. Can you read the description? Because I've never seen this. I'll make my own description. Chocolate bar. I guess we have a Chuck Norris of this neck rate. What is, it? What is Chuck Norris? I mean, if you older than him, you probably got the reference, right? You said, I make my own description. I'll make my own description of the chocolate part. Okay. I mean, it's accurate. <laughs> I'm going to save my half for later. You have your half and tell me what it tastes like. Um, oh. Mm. Tastes like a cloud. I don't know what a cloud tastes like, but. Is it good or bad cloud? It's like coffee crisp, but white chocolate. I don't like white chocolate, so. And this one has peanuts as well. What do you rate it? Mm, I'd give it an eight and a half. <laughs> what would you rate it? I only have like the tiniest little bit, but I'm not a big white chocolate fan, so we'll probably give it a six. That would be. Oh, that even be. So. Be like a. Be like a five and one quarter. I gave a six, you gave an eight and a half. Wait, no, I'll be a six and one quarter. Wait, no. Eight? Wait, what? No, that would, that would be six and one quarter. No, seven, seven and one quarter, seven and one quarter. You got it. Hmm? I don't know why I'm struggling with mass. It's actually one of my strong suits. I know. It's probably because of food. I'm, I'm All your blood is going to your stomach right now. All my brain cells are going to food reviews. I'm not, I'm the opposite of Gordon Ramsay. I'll basically eat whatever you give me. That's not true. I said basically. Can you tell them what you were telling me yesterday about how you were upset I'm your mom? One of the reasons what? I'm not the best mom. Oh, oh yeah, because she fails in one of the most important mom features, which is being bad at cooking. Sorry guys, I fail at that. <laughs> yep, she fails at being a bad cooker. If you do have kids, comment down below, do they like your food? Do you know the failing at cooking is a mother character trait? Yep. I had no idea, but that's what the kids say. Mm -hmm. 
Kids know best, unless it's Rapunzel. Oh, yeah! Oh, I thought it was chocolate covered raisin. Chocolate covered peanuts. Same thing, but not the same thing. No, it's um. It's chocolate covered chocolate. Wow. It's a wafer filled with chocolate and covered in chocolate. That's making my mind. Trento, that must be like a new brand in Brazil. I've never heard of it, but I've never had something like this before, and it's actually quite good. Next snack. Okay. What'd you give that? Oh, I give that a three. Wait, no, not a three. Yeah, three. Oh, I gave it a 10 out of 10. No, no worries. Three, no, three is a five. Remember, I'm writing it off of how many letters are in the word. T-H-R-E-E. -E. So, and I rated it a 10, so... So that would be about... About, um... I can edit it. 7.5. What's next? Um, Sorry, Jack. My face. Just kidding. Um, we're gonna be eating a wolf. Apparently, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Cause he he straight up gangstered up on R Red Riding Hood. So I don't know how I feel. Okay. Let me re let let's show them. When you open the bag, I'll knock them out. Okay. So this is a bait. Um, Cheeto like. This is um, flavored cream cheese with Cheetos. It's my favorite. Jess, please. Well, I have to knock out the wolf. Like Frito-Lays makes Cheetos. And now we do have like Keke Jean is a kind of almost liquidy cream cheese that we do have. And that's my favorite Brazilian Cheetos flavor. And this one is a play on that. And is by a brand I've never heard before, but I, I hope it tastes good. Okay. It's called Low Beats. Hey, Mom, can I bring in the surprise guest now? No. Please? Come on, are you going to open this? Because we're going to fight over it, if you like it. I hope you don't. Well, I, why would I like look? He killed Red Red Red. Then don't open it. I'll, I'll eat it by myself later. <laughs> Ooh, what part of the wolf is that? Jesse, it's not part of a wolf. It's like Cheetos, they have a cheetah. This is Low Beats, so they have... It's like a very poor, like, inspired. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Oh, I see. That's a big copyright. Copyright by Cheetos. Mm. Mm. Low bites. Do I have to bite it low? <coughs> Ugh. No, thank you. It's, it's no Cheetos. Cheetos, let's just say that. This for me is like a... <laughs> More like no bites. Half out of ten. I'll still eat it because I'm that kind of person. I'll give that an A out of ten. So that's a one. Remember, because I'm doing it off the letters. Now I'm bringing in the surprise guest. Are we done? Nope. But he deserves to see the last one. This is my dog. There's only one left? Yep. Okay, can you introduce and it's one of our my... dog then? This is This is my dog. Say hi, dog. Hi, hi, dog. Okay, so here's a couple things about him. So he likes he likes distracting people, and he will eat whatever you give him if it's not poisonous, even if it's poisonous. If it can fit in his mouth, he'll eat it. Um, and and he's gonna stay right there. For this last snack. Are you ready for this? Is it the last one? Yeah. I wish we had gotten like the bigger box for this. This is the legendary peanuts. Those are not peanuts. They are, they are not that good peanut. These are legendary somethings. That I'm saying are legendary to be dramatic. Like my mom. I am dramatic. Yeah. So apparently these aren't peanuts, but I think she's just. I am. Ah, Tastes like hell. <laughs> it's, it's hell. Okay. 
is just little fried dough thingies. Yep. Cheese it. Mm. Okay. And again, it's from. Here, let them smell mm. it. Let them smell it's it. It's cheese flavor, and it just tastes like deep fried crackers. Okay, all of us are gonna write it. I give it six. Oh, Stethoscope. How many letters does that have? I don't know. I just rate it a lot. Eleven or something? Stethoscope. Whatever. I rate it stethoscope. Let's see. You what really it. liked it? Yeah. He writes it. This guy writes it. I rate it maybe a six out of ten. This guy right here. See him? Wait. Just have to make sure you see him. Okay. This guy right here. You keys. Okay, sorry. The camera just died right before I was about to tell you something. Okay, what? so this guy, right here, this guy, looking right into the camera, he writes it, this guy, right here, he writes this. This little, this little big chungus right here, and I'm tapping his head, he writes it. A parallelogram again. That's a lot of letters, that's like 50 letters. He writes it a 50. See? I write it 50. So I guess oh, that's, that was um, just his favorite. Not mine. No, but I, I didn't write it parallel. Lama, 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 gram. You read it as stethoscope. Yeah, stethoscope. No, because I rated one of them 15. The bis. Oh, the bis is my favorite from this box. I rated it like a no. parallel. Ruffles bis. <gasps> oh, she did not just say that. Did you mm. hear that? By the way, his name is Jack. I should have named him Annoying. Okay, so all in all, I don't have to ask what you think about these snacks and if you can find them in your country, because I am from Brazil. I can say some of these are not the best known brands, even though the type of snacks are really on point. And I appreciate Snack Crate for trying to find, you know, accurate snacks to represent if you do got this box from brazil let me know if you liked it what your favorite snack was and i guarantee you that if you go to brazil and you try that kind of snacks with the name brand ones like something from frito-lays or lacta or you know the brand that i'm not going to mention but it starts with an n in the swiss then um you will like it even more but i think it it represented and I'm really happy with this one and I can't wait for my next box. I wish I knew in advance what the next box was going to be. Because, you know, uh, what do you think, Jesse? Should we get a big box next time? Yes, Just we because should. and hope it's a good country? You comment down below. Should we get a bigger box for the next unboxing? Should we? Should we? Ooh. Did I stop it? Okay, um, Jess, do you want to see the outro? No, this dog is doing it. I will, I will see you later. Until next time, be my chew toy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, and if you're not okay with being a chew toy, you know the drill. Until next time, be the hummingbird. Bye. Or the chew toy. <laughs>